Hi, hello again. So, in this video, we will use EasyOCR to get text from images. I already did a video like this, but using PyTesseract, if you want to look at that video, please check the description of this video. I will leave a link for that video there. Um, so, let's get started. The first thing that we must do is pip install EasyOCR. So, going here, let me open the terminal. I will not install I will not install because I already installed it, but you should do pip install easy OCR, okay? Hit enter and it will start doing the magic. Um, one important thing to say here is it will take a while, okay? That's why I am not doing it again. It will take a while and uh, also it for me it showed an error but it was not a big error, so this continues to work, okay? There, there is no problem. Um, let's go back here and let's start doing our code. The images that I will use here is this one. They have this image in their website and also this image that I took from Wikipedia, okay? So let's start the first thing that we must do is uh, import. So import easy OCR. Okay, it's just this. And then um, for the first image we have here uh, Chinese and we have English. So we must declare a reader that is equals to easy OCR easy OCR dot reader and to the reader we provide a list with uh, the codes for the expected languages okay so in this case is English EN and for um, Chinese I have to go to the website and see what is the, the language so here in the PyPy um, page for easy OCR we go to the home page to the home page and going down they have here several examples of the things but the the one that I want to see is here the supported languages let me open and here they have here a list of languages and the codes that are for those languages let me check for Chinese and I guess it will it is traditional Chinese so the correct code is this one let me go back to the code put here so the the first step the, this uh, actually the second step is done okay that is uh, saying to the reader what languages we expect from the image then uh, we can read so results is equals to reader dot and what we want to do we want to read the text from where from where from the image that have the name a dot jpg so a dot jpg having these we can print the results oops print the, the results like these okay go away yes so now I can run this Py program and let's see what is the output of this. It displays here um, a warning saying that if I was using GPU it would be much more faster. But okay, we will wait. And we wait. It will take a while how much more if you have a, a very big image it will take even more okay um, and it just return this crazy thing okay we have here this is a list of tuples and each tuple have three values the first one is these crazy numbers the second one is the text that he got and the third one is this crazy number okay so let's try to understand this crazy stuff. Uh, the first stuff is uh, actually the X and Y positions of a box. And if we go here to the examples they have here, as you can see, they have here these red uh, boxes. 
in the things that uh, the algorithm thinks that are uh, the text. So the algorithm will uh, create these boxes, okay, and those values are the the x and y positions of of each box, okay. So the first thing we already know what it is. The second one as you can see is the text right and the third one is how much how much the algorithm thinks that e is right okay so e is guessing that at least is have it has the certainty that at least 80% is okay okay he got these 80% okay um but let put these these uh, more user friendly let's say let's declare a text that is equals to uh, empty string and for each result result in results we want to append to the text the result at index 1 where we get the the text okay plus a uh, white space okay and then we can print the text print the text so it will be more easy for us to see let's run and again is complaining about the GPU one thing that I want to warning here is if you every time that you that you include here a new language it will start downloading the language packages and it will take a very long time okay um, so we got the result we have here the result okay and he got the thing at least for the English part that's that is the part that I know is okay uh, the Chinese part well I I can only guess the characters are are right. I think they are right, <laughs> but because I don't know Chinese, I I cannot um, make because the Chinese characters are very very complex. So I guess it's right. Let's try another one. This one. This is a text that I got from Wikipedia. And let's see here. Well, now check for the the B, the B.jpg. And this one will take more time, so we must wait even more. Um but we eventually get will get a result. And let me put here these so we can watch the text and let's wait let's wait the PyTessaract video the, the one that I used um, in the previous video is actually very I think it's faster than this one but I don't know if it uh, it is if it is good compare I didn't compare uh, the two so I can say this will take a while a very while also because I'm I am recording and every time I have the 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 software for recording on everything is slower so I have to wait even more but eventually it will return a result and yes we got the result we have here the result and is almost there we have here an error okay it's not an error he got the letters correct but uh, we don't have here uh, here a space but there is no problem with that um, I think it's almost everything okay so I think this this one is actually a very good option okay uh, the links for these 
for this for the PyPy page and for the translation will be in the description of this video. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, to share with your friends, to leave a comment and as always thank you for watching. Bye!